Okay, so this is a little bicycle motor. And this is uh, one of the new encoders that we're going to be testing out on the skies in a few days, or weeks, I guess. Um, that is called a... <coughs> All right. This is a new um, motor that we purchased. It's got bearings. It's made for a bicycle, so it has bearings already, and um, the washing machine motor didn't have bearings. So this one may work for a telescope. The resistance is really, really low. It's 0.2 ohms, so um, we were having a little trouble with it, so we put some resistance in series with it, and it works fine. This is a Atom Renishaw encoder. It's got 32... 768 000, so 32 million ticks per rev. We found out that it doesn't read very fast, so that's the problem with that. But it does work, so if you look here, um, we can click there, and now we can see it moving over there. Now I'm going to click the other way, and then uh, if you want, we can move at any speed we want. This way. Here's very slow. Here's very slow the other way. And uh, we found out that this uh, encoder doesn't read very fast, this Atom encoder. So you have to be careful that you don't move it too fast, otherwise it misses ticks. And if a brushless motor misses ticks, then it doesn't know where it is, and then it stops working. But you can hear the current limit. It goes into current limit. I have the current limit set for 5 amps, I think, and it's got a fair amount of torque. There, I went too far, so it shut itself off. Hopefully, I can just put it in auto, and I didn't uh, go too fast, yeah. So now we should be able to go over here, and there we are again. I have it set for about 40 degrees a second. 35 degrees a second, it looks like. 35 right here. And uh, that's about as fast as we can move it before we start missing ticks. Cheers.